Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with yet another Cursed City painting tutorial. And today we are painting Torgilius, or Torgilius, the Chamberlain. He's a very highly detailed miniature, but he's not as complicated as he initially looks. So, what we are going to do is we're going to jump right in and start painting him. He's been primed in grace here, and the first colour we're going to make is a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Creed Camo and Militarum Green. And we're going to be using this or the outside of all of his robes. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to make a roughly three parts contrast medium to one part basilicanum grey mix. I'm going to use this over the top of those green robes that we've just painted in. And with that done, what we now want to do is we want to make a roughly two part skeleton horde to one part plague bearer flesh mix. And we want to use this for the interior of his robes. Just like this. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to paint in his headdress, his trousers and his braces. And these are going to be black, but the colour that we're going to use first is pterodon turquoise. And this is going to act as our pre-shade. And with that done, what I've just had to do is I've used a bit of grace here to just correct the inner strip of fabric on the headdress. It's not, it needs a second coat, but uh, this little strip here, and it just overlaps just there as well. I'll bring it a little bit closer. You see this bit here and here. That is because that's going to be a kind of pinky purple type colour, having just looked at the box art. So what we're going to do is we are just before we do that, and just before we neaten it up further and add that colour, we are going to use some black Templar. I'm going to use this over the top of our pterodon turquoise. Just like that. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some Saigor Brown. We're going to use this to paint in his leather details. Now this is going to include areas like his belt, just in here. Like so. We're also going to use this to paint in the scabbard on his knife. Just 
like that. I want to paint in his boot. I also want to do his eye patch. I want to do his undershirt. You can just see under his elbow just here. And next up, we're going to use some Volupus Pink. We're going to use this to paint in that strip of fabric. on both sides. And so with that done, what we're now gonna do is gonna use some wild wood. We'll use this to paint in all the wooden details. Now he's got his cane here. the stocks on his back or shoulders I should say so just up here and there's also the background of this board the paper is nailed to well, not so much nailed stabbed through with that knife. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some skeleton hoard. We're going to use this to paint in all the parchment. His kind of bandage up here and the candles. And with that done, we then take some apothecary white and we use this to paint in his beard. And then next up, we're going to use some dark oath flesh to paint in his skin.
And so with that done, what we're going to do now is we're going to work on the bat and the raven. And the colours that we're going to use first is Ultramarine's blue. We're going to be using this as our pre-shade for the black. So on the bat, we just want to colour in effectively the body of the black. Of the bat, I should say. Like so. Like that. And on the bird, I want to do the kind of top side. And a little bit of his chest. Just like that. And with that done, what we then want to do is take some wildwood and on the bird, we want to paint in the underside. It doesn't matter that that ultramarine's blue is still a little bit wet. And on the bat, we want to paint in the head the wildwood. And with that then what we then want to do is we want to take some silicon and grey and we want to use this on the body of the rat and the little feral dog thing. The only place we don't want to get this silicon and grey on the rat is on his tail. And so with that done, what we now want to do is we want to take some Black Templar and on the bat, the rat and the raven, we basically just want to go over all of the top of it. And on the little dog thing down by his side, we don't need to add any Black Templar. And with that done, what we then want to do is use some dark oath flesh to paint in the rat tail. And with that done, what we're also going to do is we're going to use that Black Templar to paint in the handle of his knife. As well as the handle of the knife in his back. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some thinned down iron warriors. We're going to use this to paint in the silver details. And this is going to be the wolf's head on the staff. 
the candle holder, so this little area here, and the ring on his belt that's holding up the keys, which is there, and of course the blade of the knife in his back. And with that done, what we're now going to do is take some thinned down Retributor armor and use it to paint in his gold details. So we've got this area at the bottom of the staff, we've got the remaining areas on the staff here and here. We've got the, the keys themselves. And we've also got the decoration on the scabbard. Even here. And we've also got the runes on his hat and on his gloves. Well, gauntlets. Well, braces. <laughs> so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some Basilicon and Grey. I'm going to use this to shade all of our metallics, so the gold and the silver included. And so with that done, it's now time to add some highlights. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with our green robes. The colour that we're going to use is Strachan Green. That contrast has done a hell of a lot of the work for us already. So all we want to do is basically just want to pick out all the sharp areas. Just like I'm doing here. that done, what we now want to do is we're going to use some rust grey and we're going to highlight all of our black details. So we've got the hat, like that. We've also got the bird, we just want to pick out like that. Got the bat as well. We've got his trousers and we've got his braces. We don't want to highlight the rat with this colour. We just want to do all the rest of the black details. And with that done, what we're now going to do is going to use some gorse blaster green to add a little spot of highlight to all the black on him. I'm not going to do this on the bat or the bird. I just want to do it on the headdress. The trousers. And his braces. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some Fenrisian Grey to add a little spot highlight to our bird and our bat. And 
So that's what we're now going to do. We're going to use some pink horror to highlight this strip of fabric on both sides of his headdress. And with that done, what we now want to do is we want to use some Ulthu and Grey. We're going to use this to pick out all of the little fur bits on our little squirrel dog type thing. And with that done, what we then want to do is take some Administratum Grey. We want to use this to highlight our rat. And we just need to do little highlights here. For example, around the spine. A little bit here on the nose. Here are the tops of the eyes. And the ears. Just like this. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Bane Blade Brown and use this to highlight all of our brown details, including all the wood and all the leather. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Screaming Skull, we're going to highlight all of our candle wax and all of our paper. Just picking out all of the sharpest areas. Just like this. And with that done, what we then do is we take some iron hand steel and use this to highlight all of our silver details. And then next up, we're going to use some Liberator Gold to highlight all of the gold. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some Wildwood. I'm going to use this to paint in the candle wicks. Like so. What we're also going to do, I'm going to use this as a recess shade on his skin. So what we want to do, is just want to start picking out all the dark areas. Just to really reinforce where that Darko's flesh has settled. And with that done, what we then want to do is take some Kislev flesh and use this to highlight all the sharpest areas around his face and his hands. And then next up, we take some flayed one flesh we add this as a little spot highlight. Around his skin. And with that done, what we then want to do is take some Screaming Skull. We want to use this to paint in the teeth on our little critter down here. We also want to use it to paint in his teeth. 
and the white of his eye. And next up, we're gonna use a tiny dot of Black Templar to add in the pupil of his eye. Just like that. And next up, still continuing with eyes, we're gonna use some squig orange to paint in the eyes of all of our beasties. So we've got one there on the on the bird. One eye there on the bat. And there as well. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some Yandan Yellow. To paint in the lit candle flame. We're also going to use some Black Templar in just a second. Make sure we get this all the way around the candle flame. Like that. Then we wash the brush. And whilst it's still wet, we grab a tiny amount of black templar. We just add it to the tip. Like that. And with that done, Torgilius the Chamberlain is pretty much finished. All that's left to do is add a little final flourish, and this is going to be to all of that paper there on the back. Get rid of that bit of detritus as well on the tail. So, the colour that we're going to be using is Wildwood. And what we want to do is we're going to use the tip of our very small brush, and we want to paint in some loopy script going all the way along. this. And with that, Torgilius the Chamberlain is now finished. You can see there on the back, it looks pretty awesome. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do the base. Now, I'm going to be doing the base in the same style as I've done the rest of my Cursed City bases. And if you'd like to see how I do that, you can check out the How to Paint Captain Imelda Braskov or How to Paint Jelson Darek videos. Otherwise, I'd recommend you do your bases in the same style as the rest of your Cursed City set. And so, Torgilius the Chamberlain is now finished with his base completed in the same style as the rest of my Cursed City set. And he was a joy to do. He is so creepy. All of the bad guys in Cursed City are really, really creepy. And he's just evil. I love that his uh, kind of background is that he's um, kind of a spy and... His, he has powers that allow him to look through all the eyes of the bats and the rats and Ulf and Khan and you can absolutely tell that from the miniature before you whereas he's you know got all of those critters on his model and it's just it's great it's a lot of fun to do if you enjoyed this video you love the channel and you'd like to support me further like these legends and bosses that you can see on the screen before you you can do so head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.